it's time to look at some advanced rules. You're totally ready for it. Remember, remember, when playing with real cards, don't let your opponent see the cards in your hand. Don't lay them on the table, silly. Versus Rattata. Oh man, this is pretty bad for you. You. See the marker next to Rattata. Next to Rattata. That means Rattata has a weakness to all fighting Pokemon. See here, Rattata is weak to all attacks from fighting Pokemon. That means when Diglett attacks, Rattata will take double damage, like this. Hey. Rattata took 20 damage from the dig attack instead of only 10. Put your cursor on top of the marker to see the explanation for weakness. See what it says? Weak Pokemon take double damage. Ouch! You'd better do something or it's lights out for you and Rattata. Doduo is way better than Rattata against fighting Pokemon. See the new marker next to Doduo this time? Doduo is totally resistant to the attacks of fighting Pokemon. That means Doduo takes less damage every time it's attacked by a fighting Pokemon. In fact, it takes 30 less damage each time. Put your cursor on Doduo to check it out. See here? It shows the resistance for Doduo. Weakness and resistance are an important part of the game. Watch out for them. See? Diglett attacked with the Mud Slap for 30, but Doduo's fighting resistance took away 30 damage. So Diglett did nothing. Zero. Oh man, I'm in trouble in this game. Looks like you won. My fighting Pokemon just couldn't do anything to Doduo. All right, I'm still up for another game. Click on the return button. Oh, back for more, huh? There's no chance for you this time. I built a new deck. My new deck is called Sleep Tight. You'll see why in a sec. Oh, hey, one new rule I should mention. We just put Pokemon into the arena to start the game. But if you want to, you can take any other Pokemon in your hand and place them on and place the bench right now before the game starts. When you're finished, just click on the done button. Good. I don't have any more Pokemon in my hand, so nothing to the bench for me. Okay, your turn. 
Jigglypuff and Goldeen. All right, Jigglypuff is pretty tough. Check out its lullaby attack when you get a chance. Pokemon is now asleep. The lullaby attack makes the defending Pokemon go to sleep. It's pretty tough. Put your cursor on top of the sleep marker to see what I mean. See? A Pokemon that's asleep can't attack or retreat. But at the end of every turn, you get to flip a coin. Heads, the Pokemon wakes up and goes back to normal. Tails, and the Pokemon keeps on napping. Some trainer cards will help a Pokemon wake up look for them. Oh yeah, if the sleeping Pokemon evolves or somehow gets back to the bench, it'll wake up then too. So my turn is over. Go ahead and flip a coin to see if your Pokemon wakes up. Remember, you get to flip a coin at the end of every turn, not just at the end of your turn. Tails, your active Pokemon is still sleeping. Good play. Full Heal is a great trainer card. Your Pokemon is awake now. Oh well, too bad for Jigglypuff. I just didn't get any more Pokemon into my hand. I guess that happens sometimes. Click on the return button and we'll go back to the gym and play in another game. game was pretty close. Pretty close. You're getting better. Well, this time, I've got a good fire deck. Let's see you win this game. Vulpix versus Dratini. My fox Pokemon is sure to take out your dragon Pokemon. Oh, I can't attack yet. Vulpix needs one more energy. Huh. Okay, it's your turn. Now I can attack. The attack for Vulpix is called Confuse Ray. I get to flip a coin when Vulpix attacks with Confuse Ray. <laughs> Heads! Not only did Dratini take 10 damage, but now it's Confused. Confuse is kind of like sleep. It's a special advanced rule. 
Put your cursor on top of the confuse marker to see what I mean. If Dirtini tries to attack or retreat, you have to flip a coin first. If you attack and it's tails, Dirtini attacks itself for 20 damage. Man, that's tough. Okay, since your Pokemon is confused, you have to flip a coin first. Tails. Ow, your Pokemon attacks itself for 20 damage. And just like normal, your turn's over after you attack. <laughs> Well, it was a tough game. Try it again. Use those trainer cards to your best advantage. Vulpix versus Dratini. My fox Pokemon is sure to take out your dragon, your drag Pokemon. Oh, I can't attack yet. Vulpix needs one more energy. Huh. Okay, it's your turn. Now I can attack. The attack for Vulpix is called Confuse Ray. Fuse Ray. I get to flip a coin when Vulpix attacks with Confuse Ray. <laughs> Heads. Not only did Dratini take 10 damage, but now it's confused. Confuse is kind of like sleep. It's a special advanced rule. Put your cursor on top of the confuse marker to see what I mean. If Dirtini tries to attack or retreat, you have to flip a coin first. If you attack and it's tails, Dirtini attacks itself for 20 damage. Man, that's tough. Hey, you should have hey, you should attacked. Your active Pokemon had enough energy. How come you didn't? on the Pokemon you want to heal. <laughs> Switch is a great trainer card when your Pokemon when your Pokemon is confused. Switch lets you bench your Pokemon automatically, even if it's confused or asleep or anything. <laughs> Oh, now my Pokemon is asleep. Hopefully it'll wake up soon.
Click on the Pokemon you want to heal. Okay, since your po- Heads, the attack is successful, but your Pokemon is still confused. Okay, since your Pokemon is confused, you have to flip a coin first. Heads, the retreat is successful. Once your Pokemon is on the bench, it isn't confused, it isn't confused anymore. Go ahead and retreat now like normal. That grass Pokemon can put my Pokemon to sleep, but it's weak against fire Pokemon. This should be interesting. You win. Good job. You're really becoming a great trainer. I thought it would win with Vulpix for sure. Click on the return button to go back to the gymnasium. Whoop. 